Hey there, it's Joseph from RoboFlow. Today, I'm gonna to talk through some of the amazing projects that have been shared on RoboFlow Universe. If you don't remember, last month we launched RoboFlow Universe, a community space for public data sets and pre-trained model checkpoints so you can build better computer vision models more quickly. A lot of the times when you're building a computer vision model, you have to go collect a data set or maybe even find a model that already works for the thing you wanna detect. RoboFlow Universe is a community space for users to build and train models and share them publicly for others to get started with. Pretend you want to build a model to find, I don't know, bunnies in your backyard or whether someone's wearing a mask or not or a bicycle helmet or chess pieces on a chessboard or even plastic bags in our world's oceans. All of these are example projects that already exist. In fact, thousands of users have created projects and RoboFlow has curated some of the top ones for you on universe.roboflow.com. So I'm gonna give a spotlight to some of the projects that I think that are awesome that have been contributed to RoboFlow Universe within the last 30 days. Of course, you can always check out the full array of projects, things like American Sign Language Detection, or Pascal Vach, or Synthetic Fruits to identify fruits in your kitchen or cottontail rabbits, or mushrooms in your backyard. All these are diff different types of projects that exist on the RoboFlow universe. Now, let me talk through a few projects that have been brought up within the last 30 days. One of them is called AI Cook, and it's from Corel Cornelis in Brussels, Belgium. Corel and his team wanted to build a model that could identify what's in their fridge, and then when it identifies each of those ingredients, it makes recommendations for various recipes you could cook. So he and the team, built a model and released the data set as well as the model to try out of 516 images over 6,000 annotations of foods in their fridge things like carrots and tomatoes uh, <laughs> potatoes onions hams green beans cheeses all these various ingredients now of course this model is best trained for the ingredients that are in this fridge specifically. Uh, maybe your results will vary on your specific fridge, but it gives you a great inspiration to what you could build. I'll splice in part of the video here in a second, uh, how to use computer vision to make sense of my fridge. Another project that I really liked that was shared on the RoboFlow universe recently was one called the Drafts Board, or if you're unfamiliar, Checkers. So this is a data set of a checkers board with the white pieces, the black pieces annotated, and um, Harry Field, who contributed the data set from the United Kingdom, also annotated the top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right corners of this given data set. And so of these 759 images, there's over 7,000 annotations that Harry added. So you can find black pieces, white pieces, and the corners of those pieces to build something. I mean, my head explodes with possibilities. You can make something that records your checkers games, or maybe makes moves recommendations, or maybe even make a bot that you wanna play against. There's all sorts of things you can do when you have the ability for say your mobile phone to recognize pieces on the chessboard or checkers board, excuse me, in front of you. Now, a last project that I wanna highlight is this one from Sied, um, and it's of people that are wearing bicycle helmets or not wearing bicycle helmets. So this data set consists of a little over a thousand images and over 3,000 annotations. Now on this data set in particular, I'm gonna show that I'm gonna actually try this out directly uh, using my webcam. Uh, so I'll give this a second to load. And what's gonna happen here is the model is gonna load directly in my browser using TensorFlow JS JavaScript, and we'll be able to try out and see uh, whether or not I'm wearing a helmet or not. Now, I don't actually have a bicycle helmet with me right now to try out, so hopefully the model will only say without helmet. Okay, let me make myself a tiny bit smaller here, and I'm using a lot of compute. I'm asking my computer to run a live browser, a screen share, and a screen record. Uh, so it runs a little slow because I'm using all of those resources at once. But you can see, it is seeing me without a helmet. Now let's see if I can trick it. Ah, I can trick it maybe a little bit, there we go. So this is a good example of why I would wanna use perhaps this data set as a starting point, but to improve this data set, start to collect images of myself um, and maybe of other users that I wanna do bicycle testing.
To contribute to RoboFlow Universe, all you need to do is create a public workspace. And then once you have a public workspace live, you can reach out to the RoboFlow team, help at roboflow.com, and we can help you make your project be listed so you can share it as your uh, proof point to show all the hard work you've done and give back to the computer vision community. This is why we have this free tier so that you can create amazing projects, share them with the world, and build with our tools to enable others to use computer vision in the ways they want to use it. As always, please like and subscribe to our channel, and we can't wait to see what you build.